How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For this session, we're going to discuss how to rewrite linear equations from standard form to slope-intercept form or vice versa. But before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Okay, math learners, welcome to another session here in ML with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 1, week 6 of the grade 8 mathematics. And that is all about rewriting equations from standard to slope-intercept form or vice versa. Now, remember that the linear equations has three different forms. The first is the standard form, the second is the slope-intercept form, and the third is the point-slope form. However, um, the point-slope form is seldom used and the commonly used forms are the standard and the slope-intercept form. Now, the standard form for linear equation is given as ax plus by is equal to c where a, b, c are real numbers and x and y are the variables plus a and b must not be equal to 0. While the slope-intercept form has the form y is equal to mx plus b, where y and x are the variables, and m is your slope, meaning your rise over run, and your b is the y-intercept. Now, how do we do this? Let's consider some examples. Okay, math learners, we have here examples for us to make this as a standard form and for us to make this as a slope-intercept form. Now, all of the given here are in the slope-intercept form. Now, how do we make this as the standard form? The technique is very easy, my dear math learners. You just need to follow these things in order for this given to be changed. The technique is very simple. You transpose and you arrange them such that the first term will be your term with an x, the second term will be the term with a y, and the third term, which is the constant term, will be in the right side of the equation. Okay, so our y is already here in the left side of the equation, so there is no need for us to transpose y. Now, what we will do is we will just transpose all of our terms with an x. Okay, so how do we do this? For number 1, we have y is equal to negative x plus 4. So what we do is we transpose x here. This will become x plus y is equal to positive 4. Because your negative x here is transposed. And remember this, every time that you transpose, regardless from left to right or right to left, the sign of that term will change. The positive becomes negative, the negative becomes positive. Easy, right? So this is already your final answer. Now, let's go to the second example. We have y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. So you transpose your negative 2x. This will become 2x plus y is equal to positive 6. Easy, right? So that is your final answer. For the third, we have um, y is equal to 5x plus 7. Now, when you transpose this, this will become negative 5x plus y is equal to positive 7. Now, math learners, let me emphasize that in some books, there are times that your standard form, this is A, right? Your A must not be equal to a negative value. Okay, so our A here is negative 5. So if that is the case, what we will do is we will multiply the whole equation by negative 1, giving us positive 5x minus y is equal to negative 7. And this will be your final answer. Again, let me emphasize that this multiplier negative 1 will only happen if and only if your a is negative. Easy, right? Now let us go to the fourth example. Now, for our fourth example, we have y is equal to 3x minus 8. So, we transpose the 3x here. That will give us negative 3x plus y is equal to negative 8. 
our a is negative, therefore we will multiply the whole equation by negative 1, giving us positive 3x minus y is equal to positive 8. And this will be your final answer. Easy, right? Now let us go to our final example. We have y is equal to 1 half x. Okay. Now in any case, you have a fraction as part of your given form. Now, what you will do is you just multiply the whole equation by its LCD. Now, since we have a fraction here and there is only one fraction with a denominator of 2, what we will do is we will multiply the whole equation by 2. So, by doing this, 2 times y, this will become 2y and this will become 2 over 2x. Simplifying, we have 2y is equal to x. Now, this is not yet our standard form so we will change our x or we will transpose our x to the left side giving us negative x plus 2y is equal to 0 however our x here is negative or our the coefficient of our x is negative so we will multiply the whole equation by negative 1 so that gives us x minus 2y is equal to 0 and that will be your final answer is it right? Now, let us go on how to change standard form to the slope-intercept form. Remember that the slope-intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b, right? So, in order for it to become ax plus by is equal to c, what you will do is you just transpose all of your x terms to the right side of the equation. And when you transpose, always remember that you write first your x term. Okay, so let us consider example number 1. 2x plus y is equal to 9. So what we will do here is we need to have our y in the left side. Okay, so our 2x will be transposed to the other side giving us y is equal to negative 2x plus 9. And that will be the final answer because this is y, this is your mx, and this is your b. Easy, right? Now, let's go to the second example. So, we have x plus 2y is equal to 4. So, we transpose our x to the other side, giving us 2y is equal to negative x because this is positive, okay? And then, we copy plus 4. Now, we are not yet finished because our y here has a coefficient of 2. So, we divide the whole equation by 2, all right? So, this will be cancelled and y is equal to negative 1. There is a 1 here, right? Negative 1 over 2. Can you divide negative 1 by 2? No. So, you just write negative 1 half and then you copy the x. 4 divided by 2, that is positive 2. So, therefore, this will be your final answer. Easy, right? Now, let us go to the third example. Now, for our third example, we have 3x minus y is equal to 2. We transpose our 3x. That will give us negative 3x plus 2. However, our y here has a negative sign. It's not the same as our slope-intercept form. So we divide this by negative 1 and we also divide this right side of the equation by negative 1. Canceling the negative, so y divided by 1 is y. And negative divided by negative, that is positive. So 3 divided by 1 is 3. So that is positive 3x. 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. So, this will be your final answer. Easy, right? Now, let us go to our example number 4. 5x plus 2y is equal to 7. So, we transpose our 5x. This will give us 2y is equal to negative 5x plus 7. And then, since we have a 2 here, we divide the whole equation by 2. Canceling them, y is equal to Negative 5 divided by 2 cannot be, so we just copy negative 5 over 2x. 7 divided by 2 cannot be also, so therefore you just copy 7 over 2. And that will be your final form for your answer. Okay? So it is very easy, my dear math learners. Now let us go to our final example. Now for our final example, example number 5, we have negative 3x plus 3y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this is not a standard form and this is not also 
a slope intercept form. Why? Because this is not in the ax plus by is equal to c because your constant term is in the left side of the equation. However, our aim here is to make this a slope intercept form. So what do we do here is we move all the terms except our term with y. So we move our 3x. This will become 3y equals that will be positive 3x. And then our negative 1 will also be moved. Therefore, we have positive 1. Okay? Since our y here has a 3, we divide this by 3. Okay? So this will be cancelled. y is equal to 3 divided by 3. That is 1. So that is x or 1x. They are just the same. 1 divided by 3 cannot be. So you just copy 1 third. And this is your final answer. Now, I hope you have a concrete understanding about how to change or rewrite linear equations from the standard to the slope-intercept form or from the slope-intercept form to the standard form. Now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic for today and here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have a good time learning about a new topic here in ML with Sir Ash. This is still your free access math teacher Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much for sharing all of my videos to your fellow friends, classmates, and even teachers that use this video in teaching their students. Thank you so much. God bless and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners! for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.